All right, me and Anuk are gonna show you how to remove the variator washer restrictor thing that's right there on the main shaft. Um, we're gonna do it in about less than a minute because I've already loosened all the bolts, but thanks to Vera, I think that's his name, the guy from Canada that did the five videos previously, he really showed me how to do this, so here we go. Okay, first thing you're gonna do pull this out and it works like a pin so loosening it's not going to get your kickstart off you got to pull the whole thing that comes off set off to the side next thing you're going to do you're going to loosen these two bolts long one here short one here you're going to use a 10 millimeter so and you want to take this the um, intake box I guess drain just in case you ever go through high water that's what that's for you pull the plug and it allows your intake to drain water off without pulling the whole intake off and it keeps you from sucking in water so um, once you get that removed it only took a five millimeter allen wrench you have your case now you need to get out your get your eight millimeter so with your eight millimeter there's six bolts kind of like a six pack you got three up top and three down below at the bottom none on the sides there's a little dowel pin that keeps it all centered make sure when you take this off those don't fall out they do put them back in Boom. oh try not to drop it but that's what i have this protective mat for all right now here you are at your pulleys first thing you want to do is squeeze this that'll loosen that and i've already done it so it's it's loose and next thing you want to do is this neat trick I get this little cobalt thing. These are like five bucks a piece. I have two of them. This is the larger one. Make sure that this is on the downside. Face like this. Go ahead and wrap it around. Pull it tight. And I like to lock mine in down there. Right below that pulley. Just kind of press it down in there and use that to hold it. And also Here's the thing that I learned not to do. When you're pulling up on this, make sure you're all the way down here, not up here. Because if you're up here, when that does release, you're gonna go like that, it's gonna slice your knuckle. I haven't done it, but come into other cases where it has happened. What I like to do is kind of reverse grip this. You're gonna hold there, mine is really loose. And you're gonna pull up. When you pull up, that'll keep you from busting your knuckles or anything like that. Once you get it all off, Pretty easy. Everything is counterclockwise. We have nothing reverse threaded. You have three pieces. You're gonna have the nut, the washer, and this is your. It's a starter piece that allows this on the starter to mate up with that, like so. And then this comes off the outside barrier piece. And then there's the mystical washer everyone's talking about. Very small, very easy to take off. And all that does is lengthen this rod a lot and the variator weights, whenever they max out, they can't actually push the variator weights any closer because this washer's keeping that from happening. Not that it's in the way, it's just they can't go the distance to seal the um, to seal it. And I just pulled it off spill all the weights then I grab the whole plate but that's it and what you have here is six six gram weights for a total of 36 grams I do live my airport and that's what all that plane noise is now you have all the piece you can have a big washer on the back I go ahead and just leave it on there's no point in pulling that off so now you have it you have all the pieces here and my next video what I'm gonna do show you how to drill light in these. I'm going to go ahead and drill these out and reduce them to 5 grams for a total of 30 grams. And what happens now with the stock weights, uh, it basically somewhere between 20 and 30 miles an hour, these weights slide out. When they slide out, they push against this plate that's solidly mounted against the, the block or casing. And when that happens, they ride up against this. Or actually, this side actually slides and this side rolls. You can tell by the, the scratches in it because when you have something rolling it can't necessarily roll on both sides. It's just impossible. 
so it rolls on one side and slides on the other so and the part that really wears out isn't this part this is stamped steel but this is aluminum so this is gonna be and these are actually these are hardened steel so these aren't gonna wear out like they say on on other videos that I've seen so that's it that was pretty quick and easy